periods in puppies and young dogs a question that is not really asked or a term that's not really known by a lot of dog people hi I'm Charles and you're watching our protection dogs and I'm Marley and today we're going to talk a bit about fear periods and also the imprinting period uh, we've had some questions because of our previous puppy videos about what is the imprinting phase so the imprinting phase is actually your first uh, fear period in your pup so some people will call it a fear period some people will say it's an imprinting phase it's from 8 to, week, eight to 12 weeks in a young puppy and then our second period uh, fear period in dogs is from 6 months to 14 months okay so let's talk about the first uh, the first phase from 8 weeks to 12 weeks in a young pup so uh, we like to call it the imprinting phase I think the main reason for that is because we do a lot of work in the puppy in that in that stage if you can it's like some people like panic if they can get a dog that's older than that it's not the end of the world we're talking here about the ideal situation like like let's say you do have the puppy from eight weeks and you can put that time in then it is just a benefit to put that kind of time into the dog so um, when it comes to training and it comes to your puppy is the puppy at that age is like a sponge it's figuring out its environment where it is who's who what to do so they take things in very easily and they learn very quickly but you've got like two you've got a good and a bad with that you can teach it all the the good things all your training things all your manners all those kind of stuff but you can also do bad in that stage so you can also imprint bad behaviors in that time so that's also important to keep in mind I've noticed a lot of times with um, especially well genetic uh, bred puppies um, at this stage they really bite they really go out there and they, they it's a super little pup and you see a lot of on Facebook you see this crazy little puppy hanging off things biting things but that's the last you ever get to see of that pup and this is where a lot of people make the mistake that they want to overdo things in this imprinting phase they tend to want to put in too much work or too, uh, too, little. too little work mm -hmm. or the wrong kind of work in for a puppy we have to remind that it is a puppy and what is happening now is the sponge is taking in everything that little brain that is the sponge is taking in everything it's not taking in a few things letting that go sifting everything so what Marley is also saying is the good and the bad everything goes into that little brain so this now the it's basically up to us as what good to put in and you cannot always keep the bad out but you want to try and filter the bad things out like bad associations with sound with water with kids all sorts of things can go wrong in this period of time but this is for me one of the most exciting times in a dog's life is that imprinting phase yes you you don't want the pup to have bad experiences in this phase so it's also important because now puppy gets socialized so you do take puppy out to meet other people other dogs so if your dog gets a bad experience with other people or a bad experience with another dog at this age it might stick with him so um, it's very important to make sure that you give your puppy the right exposure and the right experiences in a positive way to build confidence no? Yeah, confidence is, is something that is not hit with one day we're going to show our dog confidence. Confidence is small, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and that happens over a period of time. You mm -hmm. cannot take that pup now, and we've seen this so many times with bite work, um, that how people put way too much defense on these poor dogs and it makes them crazy instead of teaching them what they're supposed to do. A lot of th times, uh, if you're looking at an older dog, maybe a year old, 14 months you can ex see exactly where most of the mistakes have been made and usually the mistakes that have been made was in that imprinting phase you can see it because it shows up later in the dog and unfortunately by then um, it's too late mm -hmm. uh, you now have to really back chain quite a long distance back to try and solve those problems and a lot of those problems cannot be solved or cannot be uh, uh, corrected Yes, and then uh, a big mistake I hear people make about the, they hear the imprinting phase and they see all the work like what we've did with Billy Bones and then they like, oh, but my puppy's not doing that already and it's going to start teething now and it's not biting on the puppy pillow. I, that is not what's important. 
uh, what's important in that age is to create the love of the protection work for the puppy to enjoy it yeah. to develop your prey drive so that the puppy if he sees that moving thing or that little flirt pole it wants nothing else but that so that is the most important and then after that you want to teach your puppy to hold on work on that grip even if you can just do that in that stage it's it will be enough for you to carry on later so don't look uh, at billy bones and think oh but my dog can't do that so it's going to be a failure it's it's not about that at the end of the day yes we did all these things with billy bones but the most important thing is that billy enjoys doing the bite work if you take for instance a simple little exercise like the flirt pole where the dog is chasing something, uh, catching something, and uh, that is all prey drive. Prey drive is very exciting uh, for a dog and for a puppy, very exciting. You can watch them chase each other around as, as, as a, um, a litter. They chase each other around. If there's a leaf blowing somewhere, they run after it, they chase it. They, their instinct or their genetics for, for, for hunt, catch and kill is very high at this age in time. Um, they don't really have any much of defense in them um, because pretty much just get the hell out of there if things get too rough uh, or things get there's too much pressure and also the, obviously there's protection from mom uh, as well so it's very very important that the dog needs to enjoy at this stage what it's doing because once you restart after uh, a teething the pup remembers the excitement of the, what it was done and this is exactly the same with your obedience that you do um, a lot of things and, and this is where I find people don't understand this and the, the term is obedience kills drive it's not obedience that kills drive it's the constant corrections that goes with obedience even with bite work that kills the drive of that pup because we forget to keep it exciting for this puppy at that stage Mm. Then the second period um, is from 6 months to 14 months. So the books say 6 months to 14 months but each dog is individual. Some dogs you don't even notice they go through these uh, stages. Some you notice really go through it. Some go through it long, some go through it short. It depends on small breeds versus large, large breeds. There's differences. But what's important about this development phase, because this is what it is, it is development stages in the dog. So there's lots of development stages and you can go and read up on it. But we're going to concentrate just talking about the fear periods in this uh, video. So six to 14 months is, it is uh, not always the nicest time with the dog. Um, the, pu the puppy stage is very nice. This stage, uh, sometimes dogs that was once confident, uh, now you could perceive him as being a little bit nervous or a little bit shy or looks at something where once it didn't, was always confident, now it will look at something and say, oh shit, what is that? Okay, so it's very normal for the dogs at this age to go through this stage where it needs to figure out what uh, about survival, how is it going to survive, what can hurt it, what can't hurt it, what should he run from, what should he fight. Um, it's, a teen it's a teenage stage, so in teenagers, year by one year, for both male and female, you go through the hormonal thing. So there's so much happening with them. And I think at this stage, and also because of the teenagers, they push boundaries, but you just have to be very careful about overcorrecting or making the dogs fearful in this stage as well, because they very easily could just see, okay, well, humans cannot be trusted or my owner cannot be trusted. Um, so you have to balance your, your corrections here by being firm, but not unfair and making sure that the dog understands and being patient so the stage can go past. It's interesting to think that what happens with a dog from zero to two years happens with a year, human being from zero to let's say 21 years. So we go through a, a period of change where hormonal change, body change, mental change, cognitive change, all these kind of fancy word changes that we go through and a dog does exactly the same but it takes him about two years to go through all of these the, the stage, stages. One thing that I've noticed that was really interesting to me is around about nine months, ten months, eight months thereabout in the, the female dog the bitch she goes into her first season um, sometimes you won't even notice it there's no blood or anything there's no bleeding uh, and you'll just see there's an interest on the male dogs 
but this is very interesting to me because those dogs change so much in that specific time when that happens i've seen some really really strong females that become scared and uh, weak and not really weak but like everything scares them you just look at them too too harshly and they like cringe in there's a lot of things that happen uh, with them. Unfortunately, they do not have anybody to explain to them what is happening with them. They have to work through it nature's way. We don't know how, but nature's way uh, is nature's way. Um, so there's a lot of things that happen and all, all of a sudden the strong female that did all this fancy bite work now at a stage like that goes into that uh, into her season and all of a sudden it's not there, that bite work is then you don't understand what's going on. That's one thing that we also have to realize that it's different for male and for female what the uh, what they go through uh, and if we understand this and we know what's going on we can work with these fear periods like for instance the second fear period that Marley is talking about also this is when dogs have to perceive the world um, do they have to be scared of that is that thing going to kill me is it going to hurt me um, those those are the kind of questions we assume that's the kind of questions that goes through the dog's mind when it looks at something new that startled it or that it doesn't know what it is and this is where i've seen so many people just ignore that period of time and they way too strict with it like marley says with a poor dog and this can cause a lot of problems also phobias even phobias in humans get caused at a very young age and this is where you want to be careful of that there's no funny things that happen with your dog and you being an idiot by correcting a lot of times um, and causing a phobia to to create a phobia in your dog because this is going to be an on going struggle which you're not going to correct or get rid of at a later stage yeah i think uh, people uh, tend in the protection side of things put too much pressure on the dogs oh, yeah. sometimes at this age because they've got a big body and they look like they're no longer puppies you know they expect them to do all these things and it creates a lot of problems because they're still very insecure and still very puppy like so the first year for me is just very important to to create a, a confident dog to make sure that the dog has good experiences to be fair and to be patient with the dog another thing is is like we constantly saying that um you, we see on a day-to-day -day basis you do not get a perfect dog mm -hmm. and a lot of people wants that little donkey to be a racehorse and it's very idiotical to think of for, for me to think in the way of my son is quite a, a large boy um he's bigger than his peers to think that he's going to be the next heavyweight boxer of the world he's only 10 years old who says he's not going to be the best pianist or not even any of that so it's really wrong to think that if you've got a really good genetic dog and by the age of uh, 10 weeks it's biting like a little crocodile a little crocodile that this is going to be it and I have to take this little system like it is now that 10 month old little dog and this is I'm going to turn this into a monster by the age of one have him bite on a suit mm. by nine months that kind of shit um, you have to realize that you're working with a young mind which can be broken at any given time and that is due to you being an idiot. Yes. Well, I think we've like uh, touched the most important points on this. Yeah, one point I want to bring up, one point I want to bring up, guys also don't use the term fear period uh, to hide uh, genetics. A lot of guys will say, oh my dog is in a fear period. Well your dog's been in a fear period for the last year. When do you think he's going to come out of it? So fear period is not a set period of time. It could be Autism small. Nerves, yeah, yeah, it could be small little things happening today. It's like this. Tomorrow it's back to normal. Then it's it, it's not. It's very difficult. You can see all of a sudden there's a change in your pup. But your, your pup, pup won't all of a sudden not bite. Yeah. You know, if it doesn't bite, it doesn't yeah, bite. Your yeah. pup, if it doesn't bite, it just doesn't have the genetics to do that. So that is us about fear periods. Now, if you want to um, uh, pop us a, a, a message or a question or something, how you perceived fear periods in your dogs or something that we missed out that you feel is important, please put it in our comment section below. And then... Um, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon and like what you have seen today. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers.